So my name is Jamie. I'm a founder and the head of hardware and signal processing at Archetype AI. And we're basically developing a foundational model, a generative AI foundational model for sensor data. So anybody can understand what sensor data means in a semantic and natural language type of format. So our demo today basically has the Infineon radar running here. And what it's doing is providing sensor data as seen through the radar about what's happening in the physical space around it. This raw sensor data is being streamed to the cloud where our model is running. And because of the layer of intelligence that our model provides, now you can interact with this radar using natural language and ask questions about what's happening in the physical world. So for example, I can ask simple things like, what is happening? Very abstract, high-level questions. And the radar is actually able to respond about objects and people that it detects, where they are, how they're moving, patterns of motion. All of this wasn't possible before unless you had detailed knowledge of what the radar signal means and what it looks like. So now anybody can understand what radar data means. Similarly, you can set up monitoring alerts. You can ask the radar to alert you when things happen, like if somebody is approaching, if somebody is within a certain distance, without any coding or programming, this becomes instantly accessible and available to anybody. And our model is actually multimodal. So not just radar, but camera data, audio, IMU, time series. The idea is that we can take all of these modalities, map them to a common embedding space that's shared with semantic structure so that any sensor data can be fused and queried and provide insight that humans can understand. Currently, our model is running in the cloud. So as we develop the core technology and the model itself, this is where we're developing. Eventually, our long-term goal is to be able to create distillation models, so much smaller targeted versions of our main mother model and have these running on the edge for low power applications.